the amount of time and space she gave me and trust, um, it meant it meant the world. And I think it really um, influenced my performance a lot. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you too. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be talking to you. Very excited. I, uh, I'm very excited about this movie, and I bet oh, you good. are. And you are the same. And when you for like when you got the script, like what got your attention? Because you were, weren't even born when the craft was was released, was right? What was it, 1997? 1996. You wasn't, 1996, right? I wasn't. No, I yeah. was born in 98. Um, I actually hadn't seen the craft when I got the audition for it. But people around me, like the older people around me were like, you have to watch it. This movie means so much to me. It changed my life. You have to book this role. So um, there was a, bit of a, a little bit of pressure with that. But I... When I auditioned for it and then ended up reading the script that Zoe Lister Jones had written, it I just thought it was such a genius way to tell a story that we need to hear today of these women who um, find each other in a time where women friendships are are so important and um, it's a, it, you know your high school years are so challenging. But this version of the women not turning on each other and actually coming together to fight things like the patriarchy and toxic masculinity, I, I just thought it was so well done. But with also having the elements that make the movie so beloved from the original, you know, all the teen angst is there, the, the outfits are incredible. Avery Pluis uh, was our costume designer, the, all the magic, the spells, um, it's uh, it's just I think it's a perfect balance. Yeah, for the like for the preparation, did you ever did you have a chance to talk to any witches? <laughs> yeah, we actually had um, three witch consultants. Um, so I had the chance to talk to um, some of them, and um, Pam Grossman, who is the author of Waking the Witch. Um, she has an amazing podcast as well. Um, she was actually there during rehearsals and choreographed all of our spells um, where we were sitting, um, what, you know, hand movements meant what, um, the things that we were calling on. Zoe, our director, um, w made that very important that we were um, authentic to to that and like work with Zoe I think she's it's it's easier when because she's an actress before how how was like work with her did you feel safe on set how was like oh, yeah. that experience I've never had a, an experience quite like it um she, you know she's a young woman who like you said has experienced all the things that I'm experiencing as a young actress um it was very intimidating because this is the first real lead I've played um so I, I felt some pressure and every week I went over to her, her house in Toronto and we worked through each scene and, and the moments that I could, you know, having trouble finding on set, she would really break it down and act with me, you know, like find it with me. And to ha she was just incredible. <laughs> We'd be in the corner and she'd be breaking down the scene and she'd be in full tears. And then she'd turn around and call action and, you know, be talking to the ADs and was back into the, wearing her director hat. But the amount of um, the amount of time and space she gave me and trust, um, it meant it meant the world. And I think it really um, influenced my performance a lot. That's amazing. Kay Kaylee, thank you so much for your time. A lot of success. And I cannot wait to see you in, in like in other movies and other projects. Oh. Thank you yes, so much of for course. saying You're that. So talent. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Have Bye. a good one. Bye. You too. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.